Burnrider operates in four divisions, namely freight services, shipping, trading and financial services. It was founded over a century ago by Captain John Edward Grindrod. It has a market cap of 9.3 billion rand, a price to earnings ratio of 9.6 and a dividend yield of 2%. How are the value managers <coughs> faring out there, those that have piled in mm. knee high into Look, this Grindrod. is a tricky one. It was one of the most popular stocks on our market, you know, 2008, 10 years ago, but it's since kind of fallen a little bit off the bus because it was involved with making lots of profits from selling forward shipping contracts and also from commodity trading. On the plus side though, uh, Remgrant uh, Group, Remgro, have just put in about 20% fresh cash, issue for cash, underwritten at 15 Rand, which is about where it trades now. It's converting itself from a trading company more to a logistics concern. And so for me, it's sort of a business in transition. Are the earnings stable enough yet? Does it look like a future imperial? I'm not sure. But for the moment anyway, it's sort of bobbing along, to use a shipping term. Hmm. Bobbing along doesn't sound like a wildly exciting investment prospect, or is it, Daniel? Look, I mean, these guys have done a very good job of managing the, the global situation of very low shipping rates. I mean, there's, there's not much that they can do about that. So you've got to take your head off to management for managing that well. Having said that, Again, a cyclical business. Having said that, you are exposed to those rates. Ships are very expensive to run. They're very, they're very cash hungry. The, the capex in terms of retiring ships take, uh, taking on new ships. Um, and it doesn't look like those freight rates are recovering anytime soon. Plus, Grinrod has contracted out some of their ships, which means that they're getting more than the market related rates. And some of those contracts are coming to an end. So those higher rates will now drop. So the shipping business concerns me quite a bit, especially the amount of cash that it sucks up. What people are paying for is the exposure to the Maputo coal terminal or well, the, the whole terminal, but the main thing in there is the coal. Um, I think guys have maybe priced the upside in a bit too early. I think they have to spend a lot of capex and it's going to take a lot of years for that to expand to the level that they want. So like Paul said, uh, I'd be a little bit uh, wary at this stage. I think we have to wait a bit. Hot or not? On so I'd say not. Hot or not? Yeah, it's, I think it's a bit too early and I'm a bit worried about the consistency of earnings going forward, so also not hot for now.